Universal Orlando with more of today at the Wizarding World at Harry Potter. It's been almost a decade now since the first Harry Potter movie premiered, and the series has grossed, get this, more than $5 billion to date. That's right. And in <laughs> fact, as incredible as this place is, as it opens up, the stars of the Harry Potter films, they decided to come down here and check it out. And so we are so thrilled to have with us Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, Tom Felton, Michael Gambone, James Phelps, Oliver Phelps, Bonnie Wright, Matthew Lewis, and Warwick Davis. Good morning, everybody. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much for having us. And so let's talk about what your response is looking at this, this, this theme park. I mean, you never saw th this kind of stuff in 3D. This is 15 stories high behind you. What was your reaction? Well, I mean, it is, it's kind of amazing. I mean, it, you know, when we, you know, we've all grown up on the sets, and obviously we're very attached to them, and they're wonderful, wonderful sets. But, you know, nothing escapes the fact that when you walk outside of the Great Hall, you see that it is, in fact, made of scaffold and wood rather than <laughs> this millennium-old rock. And so, you know, what's wonderful about this place is that there is never a moment where the illusion is broken. So everything is kind of real and true. And, you know, it is kind of 700 foot of castle, it appears, behind us. So, it's yeah, it's pretty awe-inspiring. What was everybody, what was your first reaction when you saw it? Yeah, it was just, it's been quite an emotional few days, really, because we, we wrapped on Saturday the film. Mm. Well, this past um, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. So mm. to come straight here and, and see and see this place is just yeah, it's amazing. It was emotional Can't because in fact there was a, there were actually a lot of tears. I mean, just as you said that, I could see how emotional you are about it because it's been really half of your lives that you've been yeah. playing this, and also you, Tom, as well. Yeah, that's, I mean, don't start crying again. <laughs> no, no, no. We'll keep it together, man. <laughs> but there were some. Tears. No, very much so. Very much so. Uh, even yesterday, we were up on the stage with with uh, well, sorry, the night before that with John Williams. It was very um, very touching moment. Yeah, it was very moving. Lump in the throat. It was yeah. very much so. so and yeah. Watson was saying that it was like us feeling the death of a friend in some ways. Yes, oh, that, 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 was, that was taken. That was taken very extremely. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but yes, I mean it is. It's a. It's a very very sad moment for, for us all. I think you know. Yeah. That's right. And, and in fact, uh, Michael, uh, when you your character Aldous Dumbledore actually appears during the during the ride. Yeah. Uh, that was. Uh, that's I saw it for the first time yesterday, and I was overwhelmed by it. I couldn't believe it. Looked like it looks like me. Doesn't it? I mean, it's supposed to. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it better look like you. <laughs> but that's so real. I remember doing it a couple of years ago, it must have been. I, I mean, I, I was killed off a year ago, so I feel like it would have been impossible. <laughs> I have to also point but you look good for a dead guy. Thanks very much. I, I, I have to also point out there's a real irony in having Michael Gammon read the safety information. <laughs> <laughs> also, we should probably mention, you know, earlier we were talking about how this has had such a big impact on your lives. Well, Bonnie Wright, this has had an impact on you in a way that it's had an impact on no one else. Because, because of these movies, you're now engaged, is this right? And it's not to Harry Potter. It's not to Dan. Well, we'll no, she's not, she's not over my personal stuff, but um, yeah, I guess it's all for all of us. It's been a big part of all of our lives, and it's kind of, it's been lovely to sort of grow into, you know, grow up and grow into our characters as, as people, and to watch all of us go and grow into different kind of strong characters. It's been really lovely. You know, that, that's right. So you were the, pretty much the youngest of us all yeah. when we started. How yeah. old were you? I was nine. So nine. And now you're engaged <laughs> to Jamie Bauer, who's a fellow cast member, which is really great. You guys must have loved that. Well, right? That must well, be nice. Yeah. And, and the other thing that, you know, I, I just watched the first Harry Potter with, with my younger kids, and it really is amazing. You guys really have grown, we have watched you grow up. Uh, you know, James and Oliver, you know, you, you play the Weasley, the Weasley twins. Uh, and they end up with a joke shop, supposedly. Yeah. <laughs> but but you, when you watch those films back, do you, do you, are you kind of amazed at how young you were back then? A little bit. Well, we were, we were kind of like the older of the kids. We were 14. But, I mean, we were 5'9 when we started, and we're 6'3 now. So <laughs> <laughs> we've kind of grow, literally grown up like, in that sense as well. But it's quite... It's like a home movie, I guess, when you see those things. Like, was my voice really that high? But, yeah, it's just embarrassing when you look back, especially with your friends. They're like, were you always like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, and Matthew Lewis, I mean, this must actually really be true for you because you actually play in Neville Longbottom. You play a guy who's really struggling with this whole puberty thing. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it's... Um... <laughs> I mean, I, I mean it in the best sense. Yeah. <laughs> Very close to home for me, um, but no, it was um, it was kind of cool to be able to um, play this character who started off very, you know, he was very shy and, and very weak and vulnerable, and then um, with the guidance of Harry Potter, he really evolves as a character, and that was kind of nice every year to come back and add a bit more to it each time and do something slightly different with it. So that was kind of cool. And, and Warwick, we, I was, was going to say, just one more you the, you know, the Deathly Hallows coming up, the, yes. those movies. What, what, what are we going to be seeing there? 
Well, I mean, it's a tremendous experience. I mean, you talk about everybody growing up. I think I'm the only one that hasn't grown up. I'm short of one But uh, no, Deathly Hallows was amazing, and I actually get to play two characters in there. Of course, disguised under makeup. I'm far too good looking for these films. Um, but, uh, yeah, a really wonderful experience. And yeah, very sad to see it all come to a conclusion. But, uh, you know, we now have the Wizarding World to kind of live on as our legacy, I suppose, and uh, be able to experience that. Well, it's, it's quite a legacy for all of you. You know, uh, Tom, you, you, everybody, you're the guy everybody loves to hate. So. And I had an MTV award, by the way. Thank you very yes. much. I had, a, I had a youngster come up to me yesterday and actually just say straight out, I hate you. Uh, <laughs> well, we and by that, you. we love you. Thank yeah. you very much. Either way, I love all of you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Good luck ahead. Everything.